Hi, my name is Grace. I'm a second year student in computer science, and here at Minds, I'm involved in the UCLIMB mentor program and deck tech. I study computer science because I like to be creative and solve problems, and it's also a lot of fun. I welcome you to the CS at Minds Python video. Today we are talking about string formatting in Python, but first let's start with a good quote. It's okay to figure out murder mysteries, but you shouldn't need to figure out code. Another reminder to all you new programming students out there, always add comments to your code. Let's start with a quick review of variables and types. Notice this slide defines three variables, message, n, and pi. Then for each of these variables, notice the type of the variable that is getting stored, which can be found through the type function call. Why do we care about variable types? Please hit pause on this video and type each of the following boxes of commands into your Python interpreter and then see what happens when they execute. These examples show one reason why programmers need to understand the type of each variable stored. Another good reason is the type allows programmers to check the type of a variable and help ensure their program is working as intended. Which of the commands on this slide cause an error, and why? Please pause the video again while you think about the answer to this question, and then try it. That is, declare x, y, and z in your Python interpreter, and discover if your thoughts are correct. If you are new to programming, please do not skip this activity. It is imperative that you understand the type of the different variables that are declared. Speaking of variable declaration, we previously talked about how you can't use keywords for variable names. Here is a list of 31 keywords in Python that you cannot use. Thus, even if you are writing a program to keep track of all the classes you are taking at Minds, you cannot use the variable named class. And if you do try and use an illegal variable name, the Python interpreter will give you a syntax error, as shown on this slide. Sometimes you will also get a syntax error for other reasons. For example, the variable room number shown here is allowed, but you cannot start a non-zero number with a zero. All right, enough review. Let's get on to today's video. String formatting allows you to control how you want a variable to be printed. One string formatting way is by using placeholders via the percent operator. Placeholders define how you want the value to be printed. For example, as an integer, or as a floating point number. Each object slash variable is then converted into the type specified if needed. This slide shows the syntax for using the percent operator by example. Notice we are printing Bob as a string in this example, and that the percent sign is used twice, once for defining where to print the string in the output statement, and once for the variable name. Here is a second example, which shows the syntax is similar when printing multiple variables. The main difference is the variable names are grouped and separated by commas. Let's take a look at a third example. Can you determine what the output will be with this code snippet? Ready? Are you sure? Wow, look at all those zeros. Printing a floating point number this way will include several decimal digits, as computers like to be precise. But if you tell the computer to not print so many, it won't, as shown in this example. That is, you can limit the number of digits in the output of a float by adding 0.2 to the percent operator. Now that you have a good feel for how to format output with the percent operator, let's talk about f strings. F-strings are a new string formatting tool that were introduced in Python 3.6. Here we show our previous print bob and age example, but this time we're using F-strings. Notice the F before the my name is string and the braces with the variable names, which indicate where to print that variable. This way of string formatting is commonly used because it's more readable, and more readable usually means fewer errors, and that's a good thing. Since we are nearing the end of our video, I'll leave you with a challenge. Consider our previous print Ordens age and BMI example. Write down what you think the print statement should look like if we used f strings instead of the percent operator. 
and then code that up in idle to see if you are correct. Here's one piece of good news. F strings don't add trailing zeros to floating point numbers. We hope you now have a good understanding of printing variables of different types in Python. You now have two different ways to format the strings you want to print. We encourage you to launch your Python interpreter and practice. Thanks for tuning in. See you around campus.